name is Lynn and for those of you new, I'm excited to share another video with you all today. I am going to be doing an Aldi grocery haul as well as a reorganization of my fridge. I have gotten some products from M Design recently and I am trying to implement them throughout my home and I'm having fun reorganizing things and just making things function better. I had a pantry organization video. So if you haven't watched that one, go check that one out if you love organizing. Also give me a thumbs up if you enjoy organizing and seeing spaces be redone. Uh, functionality and practicality is usually the first in my list and then if I can beautify it after that, I love it. So I'll show you how the fridge looks like here in the beginning and then I'll go from there. First off, here's a little Miss Oakland. I thought I would show you guys her. I know we haven't been doing quite as many vlogs recently, but anyway, before I show you guys the inside of the fridge, this is what it looks like on the outside. It is a Samsung Flex. I don't have the model number specifically, but we chose this one because it has two doors on the bottom and the one door can be set as a fridge instead of a freezer. So it has an alternate option and we really like it. It is a counter depth fridge, so it is not as big as you know your standard size fridge. Uh, but we do have an extra refrigerator out in the garage as well as an upright freezer so we are not lacking in space if we do need the extra one. I love having the one option for a refrigerator on the side there because that way the boys can reach things without always having to crawl up <laughs> into the refrigerator. At least that's how my kids tend to do. So anyway, this is what it looked like before. It was just kind of messy and it just needed just some help. That's that's all there's to it. I just wanted to clean it out. So I did clean it all out before I went to Aldi and yeah, I created some more work by putting it in and out a few times, but I didn't want to do it when I got back with all my groceries because I wanted to get those put away as quickly as I could. My sister was around for a while, so she was watching Oakland and helping out with the kids and everything. So that definitely helped. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the haul right now and then I'll try to begin with the organizing part of the video. Aldi is probably one of my favorite stores to shop at as far as groceries, but ours are just a little bit further so I don't get to them quite as often as I used to, but I just, I love shopping there. All right, I'll start over here at this end. I have some zucchini, some mini pizza crusts. I thought these might be kind of fun for the boys they could put on whatever they want and also I decided to get some pita pockets got some trash bags like the big large style trash bags and then some peaches I don't often buy canned peaches but I decided to get them and see what the boys think this says in pineapple juice coconut flavor um, I saw my friend Hannah had some so I decided to grab them uh, this is the Uncle John's pride mild country smoked sausage I also got a thing of summer sausage and a chuck roast. I really like their chuck roasts. They generally turn out pretty good in the crock pot. And I've got some cilantro, some green onions, celery, cucumber, and lemons. Also got a bag of grapes, some fruit snacks for the boys, two things of strawberries, some frozen corn, and I got two containers of blueberries. And then I decided to get one of these Southwest chopped salad kits. I don't know about you, but I have a hard time eating a lot of salad if I have to like make it. <laughs> I hear, <laughs> you guys hear Oakland over there. Uh, so I decided to get these, I'll get this once and see if I can maybe eat a little bit more salad. So, and this is something new. I decided to get only one and see what it's like. Steak and cheddar burrito. And then here is the tzatziki sauce. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it for sure, but um, this will go with those pita pockets that I got. Moving over here, I've got some cottage cheese and some sweet condensed milk. Also, two containers of crescent rolls. And I stocked up on some cheese. We were running a little low. And we have the cheddar, Colby, Monterey Jack. And this is a really giant bag. I just decided, well, to put some in the freezer if I don't want to use it right away. So, in case you didn't know you can freeze cheese, you can. And I got a bag of sweet potatoes, some unsalted butter, some of these really easy heat and serve sausage links. Also, two of these dried mangoes. I love these. Got some rolled oats. And here is some more cheese to go with the other stack. So this should last us a good long while. 
I have some sausage and salmon. I haven't made salmon in a long time, so I decided we can maybe do that. And also some hot dogs, some oven roasted turkey breast, brats, and then moving back here, I've got some of this V8 Energy juice. It's peach mango. Got two of those, and then I got some gum. Also decided to try this. I think I've tried a different flavor or kind, but I haven't ever tried the unsweetened, which I'm a little nervous about because I'm gonna have to sweeten it. Uh, so I don't know how that's gonna go. If you guys have a good recipe, let me know. And some orange juice, also some laundry detergent, some water, which is what I use for Oakland, and some whip topping, just two containers of that. And I got some cashews, last but not least, some cotton swabs. And I think that pretty much covers it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it all away and start with the reorganization of the fridge. I have time I like to try and prep all my vegetables and fruits at least you know wash them and everything I just feel like that really speeds up things later and you're more apt to use them uh, I do have some new cleaner that I'm trying out it is from branch basics they are all natural and this is like the concentrate bottle that they have and then you dilute that into like water with several different you know strengths for like say a bathroom cleaner or maybe windows of multi-purpose they give you the amounts you can use uh, so this is just like a tiny little bit in water to kind of clean the vegetables I guess it might be sort of like Young Living's Thieves I have never used that but I guess it might be the same idea were definitely helping themselves here to the fruit but I guess that's what it's intended for I finished up by labeling as many of the containers as I could or like the baskets in the side of the fridge uh, some of the stuff will probably change as time goes on but I still like being able to have you know stuff labeled that way people know where to put things and you know it can just stay organized a little better all right I think I'm ready to show you guys how it's turned out now for some reason, I can never get my fridge to look Pinterest worthy. <laughs> you see all these fridges with like beautiful rainbow colors and everything and I just, even with organizing it, I'm like, okay, my fridge still doesn't look like that. But I suppose this is more of a real life look and things that you actually eat, at least things that our family actually eats. So. I'll stop, start here at the top shelf. I have uh, several different containers that are from M Design. This one, I love Lazy Susan's. This is another one. This bin, this one right here. This one I had thrifted a while back. And then these two are both M Design as well. I'll, I will try to link all of their products below. They have a lot of different items for your house. So I'll try and link those below. All right, so back up at the top. This is just sort of like I don't know, a random, it, it will change with time, but I have like cheeses, Parmesan, cottage cheese, and if I have like smaller sour cream containers, those would go here. Right now I have a really big one, so I put this in the back there, but it'll it'll kind of vary. This one 
is like you can see half and half heavy whipping cream things like that and moving down to the second shelf this one will actually go down in so that's one nice thing about this fridge is it has a lot of flexibility okay and like this one you have a shelf that you could flip down if you wanted um, most of the time I have it up just because I have taller items and everything so here I've got a lazy Susan that I have different types of sauces and jars and stuff so this is gonna vary a lot too I've got room for leftovers and I purposely left room because you know how it gets um, you always have like extra things so I've got some cold brew coffee here that I got today I haven't yet to try it and then my milk and then I've got some whipped cream or whipped topping in the back there I put these drinks in here for right now and then moving down to this shelf I've got a variety of different things so in here I have vegetables uh, you name it I'm sure this will kind of you know change off and on and but these stickers are also removable I did want to say the labels most of these are from the talented kitchen and I'll have a hers linked below as well I love her stuff she's got a lot of different types of labels so this one is sort of like your meat and lunch meat sandwich makings I guess um, I used to have a bigger one where I'd put like tortillas and you know different types of things in but I wanted to sort of make it a little bit more compact so for now I've got these in here I've got a whole row of yogurt right now I've got a lot of yogurt on hand I guess I was trying to stock up just a little bit but in any case this is where I put it and then I have a bin for eggs and just this is like some pie crust underneath here so then this container is full of just your meats and things that we're going to be eating so this drawer is just full of cheese um, just different types of cheeses cream cheeses blocks of cheese shredded cheese Velveeta type cheese and then here I've got this one labeled as well it says veggies and this is just you know another drawer for different kinds of vegetables and whatnot okay looking at the side of the door here I did switch this up just a little bit and I'm not sure how it'll work out I'm gonna try it out once but I have condiments up here as well as this salsa and like some garlic so a couple of random things in there um, as you can tell this container is just for salad dressings and like your ketchup and everything barbecue sauce and then this one I decided to move the jelly down here so that Jackson or whoever needs it they can reach it if they want it also the orange juice that way they can actually reach it without having to crawl into the fridge I used to have my milk in the door but I'm gonna be trying to keep it up here just to keep it a little colder this side really hasn't changed very much I keep my butter up here at the top and then also like crescent rolls and that sort of thing I keep in there so the second one is where the ice maker can, unit is or like where it drops down so I can't put a whole lot in here but I have like this white wine vinegar in there and just some different types of um, sauces and stuff so I will show you the freezer and the other fridge now this space also does change up quite a bit except for the fact that I do keep uh, gogurts in here we pretty much always have yogurt gogurts in here and in case your kids want to have an eye a popsicle that's a little more healthy and you haven't ever thought of it put these in the freezer they're great the boys love them anyway and then I have cheese uh, ready to go cheese packs in here or cheese sticks so in the top thing this one actually pulls out now I wish I would always just prep my fruit I don't always sometimes I just kind of you know don't get it done but it's a lot nicer and we eat a lot more fruit if it's ready to go I also have a couple of these things back here so then the first drawer I've got oranges and this one is just like grapes and apples I keep some apples out and then some in the fridge I like apples cold I don't know about you but anyway so that's what I did with that so yeah as I said this could also be a freezer if I wanted to but I just have it set for the fridge and it works out really well this is what the freezer looks like after I've redone it and it does kind of just get messy a little bit I don't know how you guys find your freezers but I generally have to kind of keep after this space so you can kind of see what I have here in the door I've got a daily harvest um, ready to go bowl thing and then I did put this container in 
It's got uh, some hot pockets that my sister-in-law left here actually. Some sausage, some hot dogs, and then our ice trays. And then this one has kind of a variety of different things. I've got some waffles, some corn dogs, some ready to go type of uh, things for the boys and vegetables. And then this one is my smoothie drawer. So that's pretty self-explanatory and yeah, this can stay pretty organized. I had prepped some that I still haven't used and so those are all ready to go. And that works out pretty well. So yeah, the rest of the th stuff is out in our bigger freezer. So I think I will call this the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you guys some motivation just while you're home right now, just wanting to reorganize. I know that when I'm home a lot, I just want to like reorganize spaces. Plus the house is just a lot more messy when everyone is just at home a lot. So I figured this is a good time to declutter and organize and whatnot. So I hope these videos are giving you some motivation. And yeah, so if you're new, consider subscribing. I would love that. But I hope you guys are all doing well. We're doing well as a family and everything. So I'm going to quit jabbering. Be blessed, you guys. I will see you in my next one. Bye.